Okay, bruh fans, time to talk about the opposite side of the coin. I did a video about Pam and how to potentially fix her in season four. This video is about Mike, and I wanted to talk about, well, not necessarily how to fix Mike in season four, but more so what I hope doesn't happen when we make the jump from season three and its cliffhanger ending to season four. Now, at the ending of season three, you know, we saw that Mike was being forcibly taken into uh, rehab. And when it comes to season four, there are a few things I just hope don't happen with the character. Now, you know, it's a question of whether or not he's going to make it. You know, just because somebody goes into rehab does not mean the program is going to work. It doesn't mean the person will kick their, you know, personal demons to the side. And my biggest thing for, you know, it isn't about just Mike getting rid of his addiction. I think for me, it's it's two things. Number one, it's been hinted at in, you know, blanket statements about how something apparently went down with his mother when he was younger. Something so bad that it was possibly the trigger for his substance abuse. But we never find out what it was. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of a big thing you really shouldn't just hint at and not really follow up on. All right, and moving forward from there, you have the fact that Mike has been going through a lot financially. Losing his job or being put on, like, leave. I believe his car being repossessed. Being way behind on his payments for the law to the point where he's getting foreclosure notices there's a lot going on with this character and i think the most dangerous part is the fact that john knows he was messing around with this uh you know dealer who you know helps people get by when they need a fix and they don't have a lot of money but at the same time he has crazy interest rates so what i don't want to see is mike kicking his addiction and then if he gets out of rehab, all of those problems are just magically wiped away. No, I, I want to see him, you know, make his comeback at the job. You know, um, getting by, uh, getting through to his day-to-day -day life, you know, one step at a time. Because that's the thing, you know, rehab is a step-by-step uh, -step process. And when he gets out of rehab, it's going to be the same thing, you know. When he gets out of rehab, will he still have his loft? You know, will he have to down size his lifestyle you know will he have to start from square one i mean hell will we see him working at uh john sandwich shop because he has to you know figure out a way to pay the bills and find a place to live there are just a lot of questions that i hope we get answers for in season four we can see development of the character i mean hell he can be in rehab for let's say the first half of the season and i wouldn't mind that i think natalie does return in season four based on behind the scenes stuff when they were filming it sometime in 2022. And if that's the case, we can pick up where he left off in season two, because I was really disappointed when I found out early on that Natalie was not going to be in season uh, three. Cause I'm like, that's, that's just a lost um plot point right there. You know, where we could have had Mike popping up in a couple episodes here and there um, in his rehabilitation program and showing growth and development, but then Natalie was just gone. We could even had a situation where it would have been like, okay, will Mike feel things for Natalie? Because, you know, Pam was the one that was there for him during his addiction, but, you know, maybe he'll have somewhat of an abandonment issue of, you know what, Pam just dumped me off in this rehab and left. But no, it, it wasn't like that at all. But then he would, you know, get closer to Natalie because he's actually opening up to her, which is something that he's probably never done with another woman. And then it would have been a question of, you know, oh, my gosh, like we're getting a flip of the betrayal here where in season two, Mike felt betrayed because he thought Bill was making a move on Pam. And then you will have Bill and his feelings, even though that would make no damn sense, because one, Bill is married two, Natalie is an ex and three. Well, he is looking at his best friend in rehab and Natalie is his like, you know, physician or whatnot. So it's just one of those things with our therapist. So it's just one of those things where 
I feel like season three kind of dropped the ball with Mike's character. And yes, I do know the actor was working on other various projects, but there could have been a couple of scenes where he could have been in rehab because remember, he didn't pop up until like the back half of season three. So he could have been talking with Natalie for a couple of scenes early on in season three. But then um, the back half, we find out he just stopped going. You know, it's just little things like that that could have been done. Hell, Natalie could have been on the phone with one of the bros or something just to ask where Mike was because he hasn't shown up to his, you know, um, recent sessions or something. It's just one of those things where voiceovers would have just done wonders. But what do I know? I'm not, you know, a producer. But I do hope that in season four, we don't just drop all of Mike's plot points to the wayside just to move the story forward. Kind of like what I mentioned in um, the Pam video where season one set up a lot of stuff, but by the time we get to season two, a lot of important plot points and characters were just erased from the story from one reason or another. So with that being said, um, yeah, I just hope that in season four, we don't get a full revamp of the drama from season three. And like I said, the biggest thing for me is that dealer, you know, he's going to come up trying to look for that money. And where is it going to come from? You know, John ain't got it. Bill and Tom are going through it financially because remember, that's why Tom is, you know, letting Greg stay at the apartment because, um, you know, he has to send money to his mom because her health and, you know, his apartment is kind of expensive. And then Bill, he's married right now. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to, um, Mike is going to get out of this one. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like, and subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll catch you in the next one.